If you want to wipe out your debt, there are three easy ways that you can sue your debt collector so that they owe you more money than you owe them and you can wipe out your debt forever. My name is Michael Waslick. I'm one of the lawyers at Ricardo and Waslick. And together with my partner, Jason Ricardo, I help people just like you overcome debt collection with dignity. And today I'm going to tell you three easy ways you can sue your debt collector if they break the law so that you can wipe out your debt forever. All debt collectors have to obey federal law that governs debt collection practices. They have to be fair. They have to be reasonable. Uh, and there are certain things that are built into the statute that are built into federal law that debt collectors are not allowed to do. And when they break one of these three things I'm about to tell you about, you have a right to sue them for $1,000 in statutory damages plus any actual damages and the other side has to pay your attorney's fees, which means your attorney ends up being free. The first thing you can sue a debt collector for is if they communicate with you in a way that is false or misleading. That is a violation of both Florida and federal law, and you can sue them under both laws. Those false or misleading statements can take a number of forms. They can, for example, overstate or inflate the amount by adding false fees or junk fees that you're not actually required to pay. They can threaten to do things that they don't have the power to do, like seize assets or throw you in jail when they don't have a right to do that or when they haven't already gotten a judgment against you. If they lie to you about any of those things, that's a violation of law. You can sue them, end up collecting thousands of dollars, wiping out any debt you have and ending your debt dispute with them forever. Number two is if you have sent a dispute to your debt collector. For example, we talk in other videos about sending dispute letters in response to that initial 30-day notice that you get. We'll make sure to give you a link to that video before the end of this one. If you have disputed a debt with the debt collector and after that dispute, and you know it's after because you got the green card, you got the certified mail receipt, you know they received it, and after they received your dispute, they reported your debt to a credit reporting agency and they fail to label it as disputed. If it appears on your credit report and there's no indication that you've disputed it, they violated the law and you can sue them for that. Again, possibly collecting thousands of dollars, putting money in your pocket and wiping out your debt forever. The third easy way you can sue a debt collector for breaking the law is if you have notified your debt collector or you've had an attorney notify your debt collector that you are represented by a lawyer with respect to that debt. And instead of communicating through your lawyer, they try to send you letters or they try to make phone calls to you about your debt. If they communicate with you instead of your lawyer, when they know you have a lawyer, they've broken the law, you can sue them, putting thousands of dollars in your pocket and possibly wiping out your debt forever. So how do you bring these claims? It's important to document everything as you go. If your debt collector has sent you a letter that contains a false statement, an inflated amount or a threat to do something, make sure you save that letter. If your debt collector has made you a promise on the phone, make sure that you write down the time, the date, the name of the person you spoke to, the company they're calling from, the debt they're calling about, and exactly what they told you that was false. If they threatened to throw you in jail, if they threaten to seize a bank account or garnish wages or take your car or do anything and they don't yet have a judgment, write down the threat that they made. Anything that you think they told you which is not true, write down very specifically. Keep a record. If you believe they've failed to report a debt as disputed when you've disputed it, make sure you have a copy of your original dispute letter, a copy of your certified mail return receipt. Make sure you've got a copy of your credit report, your actual original credit report that shows a date of reporting after they got the green card. If you have had an attorney represent you with respect to the debt, if you've had an attorney handle that debt for you and the debt collector has been notified, make sure you have a copy of whatever notice you gave them. Make sure you have a copy of any communication, if it's in writing or a log, like I described earlier, if they made a phone call. Write down the time, the date, the name of the person and what they're calling about, any statements they've made. Once you've got all that documentation, Gather it up, make sure to give it to your lawyer so that your lawyer can file suit against your debt collector for breaking the law, can put money in your pocket, and can possibly even wipe out your debt forever. I hope this has been helpful for you. If it has been, hit that like button, share it if you know somebody who needs to see this, and make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. If you have a question that we haven't answered, we'll do our best to answer that either in the comment section or with another video.
I promise to give you a link to another video. It's coming up right now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.